Matthias and this is Diana. Hey Diana. I'm Frederick. Hey. <laughs> A little bit tall, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, good people, Red7 here. Today's video is a bit different. No news, no podcast review, zero EFT gameplay or content. Although, I'm gonna show you some real life gameplay a bit later. Today is about real life. Crazy Killer, one of my patrons, Twitch subscriber, Discord buddy and friend, decided to pay me and my family a visit. We ate some Tushonkas together, we drank some grandma's prom juice and we had some live assault rifle showcase because he brought his airsoft M4 variant with him. We went to the shooting range and did the mistake to shooting a World War II 8 caliber Mauser and injured our right shoulders. And lastly we went for some more accuracy practice while playing dodgeball in the garden with our kids and with the neighbor kids. So let me tell you briefly how it really went down. As soon as I found out he was about to come and visit, I went into the forest and gathered some wood and made fire for the barbecue. Now I forgot to make pictures of all the steps I'm going to tell you about, so I'm gonna replace them steps with whatever goes to my mind first, so try to imagine what really happened by watching at those pictures. We had a very nice lunch together with some turkey, zucchini, grilled mushrooms and some tatoes, that's how Gollum will call them. And on top of that my wife did some house made ali oli which is a Spanish type of garlic sauce and of course among others we had some ale on the table. The showcase of the M4 went well, beautiful weapon, no one got injured, I got to say that just in case YouTube decides to shut down my channel for some reason and also no kids got harmed. Crazy bought this baby a week ago or so and he hadn't had the chance to test it yet so we had a pristine M4 in our hands and we were very proud of it. I am calling it M4 but maybe it's not, I'm not a weapon expert so shut up. After the weapon showcase we went to kill some real life red targets and they only had small caliber rifles or pretty big caliber. Don't ask me the type nor the models guys because I have no idea, not even the trainer knew what he had exactly in the hands. So we had this brilliant idea and said let's start with small caliber first and work our way up. Everything went well with the small caliber rifle once we figured out how the weapon actually worked and I did pretty well for being a rookie. Crazy works as a soldier for the German Bundeswehr, the German army, that is how you call it here, and he kind of knew what he was doing. But then when the big caliber shooting started, we found out that the Mauser or Car 90, 98 variant was no joke and the recoil and the way it kicked was pretty serious. We shot about 10 rounds each and after my first 5 shots I asked myself why was I so stupid to choose this mule man? But I guess I got a bruised shoulder because I have not shot too many weapons in my life and you probably have to put some more time into it and some more shoulder literally. As a bonus we wanted to shoot some handguns as well but there were no handguns there. So the trainer told us we can try to shoot his private handgun which was nothing other than the mighty P-57 Magnum. Crazy shot this one before but I haven't so I said yes I will try it out and it was a beautiful experience. It was my first time shooting a pistol, there were some more people there with handguns and I kinda wanted to try them pistols as well because they had a beautiful brown CZ pistol, you know the Czech variant and a Heckler and Koch but I was too shy to ask, now I feel sorry for that. By the way, the guy you hear talking German in the background is one of the German champions, uh, I don't remember the name, Michael something. Anyways, after the shooting episode we came back home and relaxed for a while in the garden until the kids came and asked us to play some games with them and we ended up practicing some more scav targeting while playing some dodgeball as said with those small scavs. I haven't done pictures here because I honestly don't know how YouTube will react when I show kids and strangers in my videos. If you guys enjoy the video and request for some more real life stuff then I will do some research. Crazy left after that and guess what I did? Well I did some more raids on shoreline where I had to kill some more scavs with the AKM and while playing I realized that the practice I did in real life didn't matter and I still got wrecked by everyone. 
So that was my story for today. Hope you guys liked it. It was different. If you guys plan to visit Germany, then please come and visit us. It doesn't matter where you are from. You are always welcome here. We will be glad to host you for some time. And if you plan to stay longer, then we can arrange a hotel for you. There are plenty things to visit here and we will be glad to enjoy your company and know you even for a few hours. I told that fat bastard to come and visit us with his mistress, but he said, Jedi Edward 7, where do you live, mate? I told him in Germany, but then he told me that all is already booked and sadly he got no time. Slash, you know I'm talking about you, right? Much love, man. Hope to see you some other time then. To the other Australian, the one with the scav mustache, I say, mate, you know that in January you will be visiting Europe. Make some time and come and visit us, man. You got plenty time until then to decide. That freaking car 98 or Mauser or whatever is waiting for another shoulder to bruise. Viking and Viking lady, you are also expected this year. To the French patron, you know who you are. I follow you on Facebook and I know or we know you travel a lot. Come and visit us sometime and share some okay. of your war experiences with us. A soldier always has plenty of stories to tell. Thank you guys for watching and remember to enjoy real life. Patrons, awesome support so nice. far. Thank you very, very much. Kids, do your homework. Listen to your parents. Son, when you get big and watch Papa's video, remember I told you this years ago. Take care and see you in the next one, guys. Red 7 now. Peace. Yo, thank you for your view and for being there. Patrons, thank you very much for the awesome support. Remember to subscribe and like the video if you liked it, if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget about the t-shirts. Red 7 out. Take care. Peace.